friends and thanks for coming back to my channel. Today is the Market Minute update and it is amazing news. So we're gonna review last week, this week, this month in Ada County, existing and new construction homes. Let's dive in and take a look. So currently in Ada County, we have 1,617 active listings. Of those listings, 735 are new construction and 882 are existing slash resale. So we have 1,333 pending. That's up from last week's 1,312 and sold last week was 442. Guess how many homes sold since last week? So last week we had 442. This week we have, since, and this is since the beginning of April, 715 homes have sold. So we're getting close to the end of the month. Obviously today's the 26th. Everybody's shoving in all these sales. End of the month, everybody's closing, want to close on the 26th because um, they want to close before the you know first. Um, so 715 closed so far. We have one closing on Monday, two closings on Tuesday, and that's the end of the month. So um, we actually have also personally closings as well. So we know that really a lot of times people will close at the end of the month. And there are a few reasons that I'm going to tell you why people would want to close at the very end of the month. Number one, their rent goes until the end of the month or their 30 month lease or their 30 months of um, overhead. So they've prepaid all of that so they won't get a pro rate if they're a new home buyer. Two, people love doing a closing at the end of the month because when you get a mortgage, a lot of times you will skip the next payment and make it due the next month. So you close at the end of April, you don't have a new payment due in May, it's not until June that your first payment is generally due. So you get a whole month of free, quote unquote, not really free, but free income that you don't have to pay rent on or pay a mortgage on. And then you can use that money to also buy all those move-in costs and move-in things that you know you just need when you move into a house, right? There's just always something, right? Whether it's just even buying toilet paper, you know? So. Uh, something as simple as that. So those are two big reasons why people like to wait. People also just like the cyclicalness of a month end and it's just cleaner, right? So then you start fresh, everything starts on the first. And so people just love ending like that. Also remember paycheck cycles. If it's two, twice a month, it's the middle of the month, end of month is when you get paid. So those things tend to also want to be happening at the end of the month for that reason as well. So, um, so it's not a bad thing to close at the end of the month. I do like closing a few days before the end, just in case Murphy happens and then you're not shoved into the next month and people don't pay extra or whatever. However, sometimes that doesn't always work out. Um, but anyway, so we do have about, so from last week to this week, we have over a hundred extra listings on the market just in one week. And so we normally need about 2,400 homes on the market to satisfy in migration, aging in and out of homes. It is a slower market. Not as many people are moving, not as many people are aging out of homes or aging into homes. So they are waiting. There's a little bit more of a picky buyer pool. Um, so that that number will just naturally organically be a little bit less than than what our norm is or what to satisfy those things. So last week was 1509. This week is 1617. Um, this week we went pending on someone who called in and wanted to fly in and look at homes and they found a home they love and we went pending yesterday on that. So that's very fruitful for if you are moving from out of town or you do want to fly in just to buy a home. It can happen fast, even if you're just looking. So um, sometimes being ready is a good idea. Um, so if you would like to know, like, what are those things that I need to get ready to make a purchase? If you haven't purchased in a few years, or let's say you haven't purchased in 30 years, you know, what are those things that you need to make a purchase? If you were to fly into Idaho 
or if you were buying in Idaho and you hadn't sold your home in 30 years or you've been renting for 10 or 20 years. So DM us, um, let's get an appointment going. We can do that via Zoom or even you know, on FaceTime and we can just talk about those things that you need to get ready and to prepare yourself to purchase a home. And we're happy, happy, happy to have that conversation with you. And we'd love to hear about your real estate goals, your end goals, your 2025 goals as well. And as always, um, be happy, be safe, and be home in Idaho. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want more videos like this, we do the weekly update, and then we have other videos that we pepper in.